Now with the National Federation of Group Water Schemes are, we are the representative body for the community water owned sector in Ireland. Hello, my name is Patrick McCabe and I work in the area of source protection with the National Federation of Group Water Schemes. Over the last approximate 10 years or so, around 95% of community regulated group water schemes have been working on this area of source protection and in the development of what's called preliminary source protection plans. The source for the scheme is a lake called Loch Namacree, but it's locally known as Srinti Loch. Uh, part of my farm runs to that lake. The biggest consumers would be farmers, but we're serving about 650 houses all in the, in the rural area, sort of just slightly north of Carrick Macross. We work fairly closely with the Federation on, on a, a lot of issues and they're, they're a big help to us. Pressures facing our group water uh, scheme supplies can come from a variety of areas. They can be from rural, they can be from urban, they can be from domestic pressures or indeed agricultural pressures. And really and through any of the projects that we've worked with over the last 10 years or so, the cornerstone of them has been integrating plans and helping them and working with uh, the, the farming community. The Newton Group Water Scheme in particular, this last probably three or four years, have, have been very involved in what our water is like in our streams and how important that is coming back into our drinking water. And I think if that connection is made between what you do on your farm and what comes back in through your tap and it's made on a community way as they do it, I think, I think it can be nothing only successful. We have an agricultural catchments programme catchment here in Cardiff and that also is the source of the drinking water in Cardiff. So we take a lot from that ourselves, we can get a lot of information and data from that as well as we like to think that the scheme can contribute back to that as well. Certainly through work with the Federation and, and, and the catchments programme, there's, there's, you know, we can see a lot more of the impact that our day-to-day -day work in the farming sector has on the water quality around us and, and that awareness uh, can help us to put, be put best practice in place on an individual basis to, to, to help 